Hello everybody, it's Kathy from NatureWorks and I'm going to show you how to make a whistle. So whistles this time of year, sort of heralding in the spring, are a really popular thing to make from things like willow and sycamore. Um, I didn't know how many people would have access to those kind of things today and I thought it might be a bit fiddly to try and make a little film of that. So we're going to use a carrot today. You're going to make a whistle out of a carrot. You can use other kinds of root vegetables. It needs to be something quite hard. Um, so do experiment with other things. Make yourself um, a parsnip or carina if you want to. But I'd recommend you start off with a carrot. And for all the bits where it doesn't work, because you will be a bit of a trial and error, um, have them for dinner. So make a shepherd's pie, make a vegetable soup, do something with the carrots afterwards. So you really need to tie in this whistle making activity with what you're having for dinner tonight, okay? So have a think about that. So um, I'm gonna move the camera again so that you can see um, what I'm doing, but obviously the very first thing you'll need is a carrot. Right, so here we have our carrot. And the first thing we need to do is cut off the end. so that we've got a nice flat uh, end there. Um, and what we need to do is to make a hole through the center of our carrot. It doesn't have to go all the way along, uh, just about halfway really. Um, and you could, if you've got a nice big carrot, you could use something like an apple corer for that bit. Um, those sizes don't quite match up for me, so I'm going to use something else. I'm going to use well, this is a tool I made myself, which has got a drill bit on it, um, glued into a file handle. Um, but you could use something like a screwdriver, um, ask a grown-up at home if they'd help you make the hole. But you do have to be careful here. What we don't want is any, any sharp tools going through anybody's hands or legs. So you hold it horizontally. I'm going to move that out of the way. And you'll find that the centre of the carrot is a lot softer than the outside. So it goes through fairly easily. So there we are. I've got my, my hole that goes through. It's not quite in the centre. It'll do. Okay. There we go. Right, so the next thing we need to do is cut off some of the excess carrot so sort of about 45 degrees this is really just to make it a little bit easier when you come to um, making a sound out of it having to put your 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 mouth around the end of it so that's that bit the next bit we'll need our knife again um whatever i've done with that oh, there it is. Um, uh, so we need to cut a wedge out of here. Um, we're going to do this a little bit at a time so that we don't cut too far. So we start off by cutting 90 degrees to the board to start with and then tip up your carrot to cut out the little wedge shape. So do it a bit at a time so you don't cut off too much and we need to stop cutting as soon as we can see that hole that we cut through the centre. So I haven't, oh, I'm just about to see it now. Just with the tip of your knife, just clear up any excess bits of carrot you've got hanging around that hole, okay? Right, okay, it's already sounding pretty good. Um, so that's the shape that we've got of our carrot now. So the next thing we need to do is where we've got that hole, um, we need to block that up a bit. Um, and what we do need to do is make a thripple. So that's a little bit of hard carrot that we're going to cut. It's going to fit into the end. Um, let's see. The idea, it doesn't, it's, it's not got to block up the whole thing. What we want is a flat surface for the air to move along the top. So we're blocking up probably about half of that hole that we've made. 
sometimes getting this bit right can take a little while. So you'll need to be patient. Keep fiddling. Oops. And hopefully you'll be able to make to make a whistle which has a sound coming out of it. Now I had an idea that that wouldn't work first time round. So I made one a little bit earlier. And they're really loud. So have a go, experiment. Don't forget, any that don't work can go in the pot for dinner. Okay, good luck.